Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Thursday, June 27th. Yeah, Thursday this time. Uh, this is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Friday, June 28th, uh, we have a, <coughs> a third quarter moon in the morning sky. You should All morning you can go out and take a look at it in the blue sky. They're looking nice. Uh, sunspot activity is still pretty amazing, but the actual north-south complexity in these spots is not great, and they have not been erupting or doing anything uh, spooky that might take out satellites or create unusual aurora. Drought conditions are worsening a little bit. I guess I was highlighting that county up there at Larimer. But uh, yeah, we now are in the stage two moderate drought in this side of Boulder County. And uh, things are getting a little drier. Temperatures are high. Got lots of evaporation. Nationwide, a lot more dry conditions have appeared in the east. Again, as the heat uh, nationwide has been cranking pretty high. <clears throat> Smoke-wise, there's some fires up here in the, uh, the mountains of California. Sending a little bit of smoke our way. Stuff from Central America seems to have shut off for now or diverted. For precipitation, it's the uh, southwest and western slopes that got it, the big wind and the northern mountains here. The eastern plains kind of got skipped except where lucky thunderstorms traveled. Looking at the severe weather climatology, yep, snow is gone now. Uh, here we are into the first week of July. You can see that the <clears throat> possibility or expectation of severe weather is, begins to decrease as we enter July and get into the summer. It's also migrating north towards Canada. We're still pretty much at our peak here. And in reality, Thursday we have a marginal uh, risk. That's for wind and hail. And we have a slight risk on Friday just almost to I-25 with a little marginal risk in the northern parts of the state. And for Saturday it sinks a little south of us. Looking at Thursday's surface map, we're in the warm sector of this big draping front here. For Friday, there is a cold front push coming down. And then for Saturday, we do have a cold front that crosses. Uh, we'll take a look at that. <coughs> looking at, yes, we have a cat in here. Uh, looking at normal temperatures, 86 up to 89, or almost to our maximum. Uh, high temperature, 55 to 58. Again, I think the highest normal Highs and lows are 90 and 60, if I remember correctly. Um, you can see the temperatures look a little weird. They're too low um, in here. Sometimes the ensemble really messes up. You can see the, the statistical bars here are off the top. So, yeah, sometimes I think they're too old breaks. They are showing pretty good chances of afternoon thunderstorms into the weekend, <coughs> and then more scattered after that. Independence Day sitting over here. It's looking pretty dry, actually. Well... We have some clouds around, less moisture in the atmosphere overall. Let's take a look at the stuff in animation. So we had the big ridge over us giving us 100 degree temperatures this last week. And here is the ridge back again, but into Sunday. Uh, a little bit of a trough coming in from the west. The center of the ridge goes out to Texas, Arkansas. We get a trough swing past us to the north. And we're going to see three kind of cool fronts come down over the next week. That's, it's interesting. Here comes the next ridge into the west coast. Really serious heat in Arizona and Nevada, Utah. And then the ridge comes over us by the 7th. And we have a tropical system down here, uh, scaring south Texas and Mexico. All right, so there's the blobs for thunderstorms in the afternoon. You can see all those little so pools of... of purple rain cooled air then this cold front comes down saturday and sunday pushes back against the mountains but it can't make over the mountains this is not really cold air but it's cooler cooler than you'd expect the heat's back <coughs> on the second and third with another little cool front coming down and looks like independence day the fourth um might be below normal temperatures yeah see right there we got the cold ish air cool air for the summer uh, pushing back then the heat really moves in as that west coast ridge approaches and you can see the thunderstorms popping up again in the afternoons there uh, not much to talk about here with the atmospheric uh, precipitable water moisture overhead but it uh, is pretty 
healthy all the time. They, until we get to about the fourth, third or fourth, we don't see dry air come in. It's just there's not a lot to instability to make these things go. But with the moisture, with the heat, we can uh, have the severe weather. Here we are, Independence Day. It's actually the first below normal amount of precipita precipitable water. Easy for me to say. And for dew points, <clears throat> 50s sitting around. It's going to continue to feel muggy, very humid. There's uh, mid 40s, 50s, 60s pushing up over the weekend. And then a little bit of drying Tuesday. And then pretty good dry air starts pushing in. By the third, the plains still have high dew points, 60s uh, right out there. But on the night of the 4th, we get 30. So it could actually feel kind of nice uh, if you're out watching fireworks. So there's our thunderstorms popping up on Thursday. <coughs> there's the Friday storms. Saturday, more storms popping up, mainly Colorado and south. Then Sunday, storms popping up in the afternoon. Monday, Tuesday, it they're south of us, a little bit on the plains there. But then for Independence Day, by the evening, there, there isn't anything going off. So we won't get the uh, famous meteorologist, uh, nature supplying her own fireworks thing. Here comes that tropical system, almost certainly a hurricane moving in. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty strong system down there. Keep an eye on that next week. So over the next five days, Mountains get some precipitation, spots on the plains do. This has this dry up here along the northern urban corridor. Over the next 10 days, we pull in a little more rain, but again, it's very spotty. Thankfully, where the fires were in New Mexico, a lot more precipitation is occurring. So 90s going to the weekend, started to cool to the 80s. Amazing. Um, back to the 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday with varying degrees of uh, thunderstorm chances every day. Maybe a little higher next week with that cold front. It's a new month and so the Weather Service is out with their outlook. Pretty much coast to coast above normal temperatures. We're in the bullseye of uh, above normal and pretty much coast to coast very dry except the uh, deep south in Florida. Um, so not a great uh, uh, sign for drought conditions or fire conditions, but we'll keep following it here. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.